what's going on guys Risa back with another video and in this video I want to go through some of the mechanics of mongrel this video covers a ton of things about bounce pads wall tile selection how to use the crash pads some of its amazing AR aim and the end there is an absolutely insane clip that he got that I'm going to slowly break down and analyze as well as well as many many more tips please like the video and comment below any pro you'd like to see me do this on next time and please use code resub in the item shop to support me this first clip is something really, really clean that Mongrel does when he's being pressured from an opponent on an outside wall. This is a nice way to turn a defensive fight into something aggressive. While the opponent breaks his wall, he immediately shoots him through it to give him damage and attempts to place a wall at the same time. When you do this, a lot of the times the opponent will get the wall just purely because your timing is a little bit off. Mongrel, knowing this, immediately turns around after placing the wall and places a ramp over his head to block the opponent coming through. He then edits out of the back, boxes up, and then edits the ramp into a right-hand peak for him. If the opponent had opened his wall at the back, this peak on the ramp would have enabled him to get great shots on him. He doesn't end up doing this because he ends up getting the wall, but the muscle memory is clearly here to do this, and this is a really great strategy. When getting pressured on a wall, this is often what Mongrel does, editing out of the back, fully boxing up, and then editing the ramp into a half ramp to get a shot off on the opponent, as seen here. Like I said, this is a great way to turn a fight around in your advantage and turn you from the defensive player into an aggressive player. Mongrel used the bounce pads while his enemy is distracted so many times, even just to gain a little bit of vertical elevation. The majority of the times he doesn't really want a ramp to send him diagonal, but he nearly always just puts a floor out, places them down on the ground just to get him some extra elevation. While Mitro and Milan is fighting, he can simply use a bounce pad, get up a few layers and help them really really quickly. So make sure this is in your muscle memory. The reason this is so good is because when you use the bounce pad, a lot of the times the opponents can't hear you. The audio isn't very good when you're using the bounce pads, so a lot of times they don't know where you're actually flying up to. If you were to build up, they'll be able to hear exactly where you're coming from, but instead you just crash pad up, surprise them, and take a shot on them. Obviously, you don't want to do this if they're already looking at you and know where you are. Here's a critique that I've been going through with a lot of the players that I work with, and they all have the same muscle memory. While doing a Mongrel Classic, so many people out there edit the left hand side of the wall like a big open bottom four square tiled and then edit the ramp. The issue with this is this doesn't give you a right hand peak at all and Mongrel does this nearly every time and is really well built into his muscle memory. When you're spectating Mitro here however, you can see the difference. Mitro's muscle memory is immediately to do a bottom right four triangle and he can still edit the ramp in the exact same way. This gives him a right hand peak over the left hand side of the wall rather than just opening up the edit in front of the opponent's face like Mongrel does very frequently. The reason most people don't do this is because it's a little bit awkward to grab the ramp, but you can still do it all the same this way. If your muscle memory is to open the wall from the left hand side, be it left bottom four squared edit or a bottom left three triangle edit, try and forget that muscle memory and practice how to do bottom right edits instead. There's a nice crash pad technique that Mongrel is here where he simply places a ramp down and throws the crash pad onto it to break the top floor and cone on this player's box. Now this is a really known phasing strategy as a lot of players stand on the cone and then do this, which then drops them into the box and gives them a surprise on the opponent. However, Mongrel does this from above and breaks the floor and cone and then looks to take a shot down on the opponent. This opens up their box so you can get a shot, but at the same time doesn't create a 50-50 where you jump into their box. Aim is a mechanic, and I'm definitely not just saying that so it can be put in this video. However, Mongrel's aim is obviously incredibly good. The more I watch Fortnite, the more I realize that despite the fact that these top level pros are fantastic, they do take 50-50s quite frequently. But the reason they win them is just because their aim is better. Huge amount of fights also start because they just get a huge beam off of them with your AR. If you're not putting a huge amount of training into your AR aim and your shotgun aim, you're throwing the bag. Especially if you're on keyboard and mouse because it's so easily trainable with Kovacs and in-game maps. And potentially something that I'm going to be providing in the future. Okay, so this fight is absolutely nuts. I just want to show you it once in full speed and then I'm going to cover over it the second time in half speed. Okay, you can see here that Mongrel is ramping up towards his opponents that are here, continually just placing wall floor, wall floor as he goes up. Then as he approaches, he places the floors and then a wall in front to block the opponent here. He edits through and then ramp, cone and entirely walls all the way through and still manages to flip it backwards in the immediate time for the opponent not to be able to do anything. Then he places a floor and a wall to block him and notice as he drops down through here, he places his own wall immediately. This prevents the opponent from placing one behind him and slowing him down. He goes through and places two more walls, edits through and then another wall just in case the opponent had gone that direction because he saw him edit out. Again, edits to the old walls he had, and then again, blocks the opponent in one more time. Breaks it with a pickaxe, goes through, shotgun shot, and this opponent is dead. There's beautiful peace control there. 
amazing placing of the walls and editing through. And this is one of the reasons why you need to have such great accuracy in your wall edits. He didn't miss a single edit during that entire sequence. So please be out there, practice your wall edits, make sure they are clean and efficient. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned a lot. Please like if you made it this far and subscribe if you aren't already. Please use code resub in the item shop. Catch you later. Have a good one. See you.